First tonight, the West Australian cockatoo in a world first cancer breakthrough. WA farmer John Chamberlain has been investigating the cocky and its naturally occurring, occurring powder for 10 years. Now he has the scientific results to back up his incredible claims. Lab tests show the cocky can cure some forms of cancer. Mark Gibson has more. So here's the famous Sam, huh? It certainly is. Hello, Sam. Sam, the sulphur-crested cockatoo, might just hold the key to curing cancer. Our exclusive report 18 months ago raised a few eyebrows. So what happens when you've had the feathers like that? You get that residue, do you? If you look on there, you can see the white. Yeah. It's just the powder that comes off. That's what actually contains those compounds. And that's the powder. And that's the magic right there. That's what it's all about. Well, the scientific testing has been done, and this is an update we're very happy to report. It sounded so unbelievable. I often think back about it because it, it did sound so unbelievable. But here we are today, and we've got the proof in the pudding. So if you can get in a position there where you can uh, see the screen... Farmer John Chamberlain has come to get the laboratory results from University of Western Australia Associate Professor Manfred Beilharts. It's a stunning result. And very pleasing results. They certainly are. Very, very, very encouraging. The results in a moment, but here's how the testing worked. In the UWA lab, mice were injected with melanoma tumour cells. Without treatment, the mice would die within 14 days. Scientists left the tumours alone for four days, letting them grow to nine millimetres. Then they started treatment, injecting them with the special cockatoo concoction called AVI 300. What happened next was astounding. Over the next 10 days, the tumours disappeared. We can cure eight out of 10 of these mice in the space of 10 days. Professor Beilharts says 80% of the tumours were completely cured. And then we hang on to these mice for months to make sure that there isn't some residual tumour that's going to regrow. And indeed there hasn't been. These are full cures. As for the remaining 20%? In those two out of 10 mice where we're not getting a complete cure, we're getting a partial cure. The tumour gets, you know, obliterated to 70, 80%. Exciting results for a Boddington farmer who suspected he was on to something big 10 years ago. They're totally tumour free. That's, that's exciting and it's very encouraging for me. When John Chamberlain was shearing sheep, he noticed that flies would swarm over the animals, except when he brought Sam the cockatoo along for company. And I noticed there that the, the bird, it's a complete zone around my sulphur crested cockatoo, and I wondered why. It turns out the cocky's feathers produce a white powder containing compounds with incredible powers. We came up with a a candidate for a product which repels uh, sheep flies, 99.54, and 100% for sheep lice. That was just the start. The compounds have been tested on skin conditions and serious burns, like this one on a woman's upper leg. It's a very, very nasty burn. After applying the cocky cream twice a day, the burn completely healed. From the day she was burnt to the day, it was totally healed and no scarring whatsoever, it was 20 days. Next came the testing on melanomas, one of the most common and difficult to treat cancers. People 15 to 39, so our young people, melanoma is the most common form of cancer for males and females. If anyone knows about skin cancer, it's Clint Heal. Eight years ago, at just 22, the waffle footballer discovered a lump on his neck that turned out to be a secondary melanoma. I actually didn't want to know at the time, but uh, if I had have asked at the time, I would have been told I had a 10% chance of living two years after diagnosis. Eight years later, Clint's still here, but he's stared death in the face many times. That's the thing with secondary melanoma. Once it does occur in the body, uh, you can never sort of say it definitely won't come back. And, and while I've had some good times, uh, I've had 35 secondary melanoma cancers removed from all around my body. Clint Heal admits he was surprised to hear about the cockatoo and its cancer-fighting qualities. But in a sun-loving country with one of the highest rates of melanoma in the world, he's very keen to find out more. With the right channels and the right research and the right trials, uh, you never say no, no to anything because uh, with melanoma, there's been some great advancements uh, recently into uh, immune therapies and, and immune treatments. Uh, but if the cockatoo extract is found to be almost uh, the cure for the majority of people, well, you know, bring it on.
we're well beyond the fluke stage as far as the mice are concerned. You know, the numbers of mice that we've run through this process in the last eight months are statistically quite valid. We know that the eight out of ten will hold. The real question is, will this transfer to humans? That's the next step. They hope to carry out human trials next year. The same results in mice, if they get 80%, will that transfer across to humans? I'm quietly confident that it will, but time will tell. Usually about 70 to 80% of the time, what works in the mouse will work in humans. And they believe the cocky compounds will work on other cancers. The product has already been sent to the UK for testing on brain tumours with amazing results. It's quite staggering for brain tumours. It reduces as in vitro brain tumour cells. It reduces them by 90% within three days and has a very minimal effect on normal brain cells. John Chamberlain knows he could be sitting on a gold mine, but his company, Cocky Smart, has spent millions getting this far. John won't stop until a cure has been confirmed. I'm not even slightly interested in prolonging somebody's life who's got cancer. Uh, we need a cure. Anything that's seen to be a, uh, a step forward in, in treatment for people with melanoma, um, you know, let, let's see it happen. If anybody's out there watching your program, uh, and they're interested in helping me develop this and commercialise this technology, I would love to hear from them.